Hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm going to show you how to cut a circle using the Template Studio. The Template Studio works with standard size poster board that you can pick up at any grocery store. We Are Memory Keepers also has a new line of designer poster board that has patterns and colors as well as craft and glitter. Today I'm going to be using a piece of our craft poster board. To get started, you're going to need your recipe card. The recipe card here for the circle has the sizes that the Paper, the paper that you need as well as the finished circle size and then you have steps step-by-step -step instructions on how to make your circle. So to get started I need to cut down my paper. I'm going to be making the extra large circle and so on here on my instructions the paper says I need it to be 22 by 22. Standard poster board is 22 by 28 so I only need to make one cut for this one. So I'm going to connect pieces A and B together from my starter kit. And then the arrows on these straight guides actually are uh, there to help guide you into where you'll be cutting. So I'm aligning it up to here to 22, and then I'm going to take my gray cutting blade. I'm just going to cut along, being sure to hold this in place so it doesn't move on me. I can get all the way through there. There we go. And here's my paper. So this is 22 by 22. Now to align my extra large circle guide, I'm going to look at right here on the side, there's these little notches that stick out. And that's going to point to the, to the number I need. So this one is being lined up, as you can see right here, at 11 and 11. So I'm going to push my guide down in here, lock it into place at 11 and 11. And then I'm going to take my gray cutting blade again and just cut around the edge of the circle. And now I'm going to take this and rotate it 90 degrees and repeat what I did before. The thing that's nice about this is you don't have to get a plate out or a platter like I used to have to do doing class projects or different things. You can just use the blade to make large circles. Repeat it again on the other side, aligning it here in the corner. Not quite lined up, there we go. Okay. Now you can leave the pieces on there as you go around or you can rip them off. Any way works perfectly. Just line it up in there. And then my last cut. Now you don't need to worry if it doesn't line up exactly. You can just take your scissors. You can see I have a little notch there that I need to clean up. And just come in and clean up where those little pieces are where they in the corners. And it'll make a nice edge there for you. So there we go. Here is a large circle. These are great, like I said, for class projects, for sporting events, like giant basketballs and baseballs. The other thing you can do with this circle is you can cut down the center and you can make cones for party hats, witch hats, and other projects for home decor. To do that, I'm just going to take my A and B template guide again and line it up here, and I'm going to cut the circle down the center. And then I just got two halves, but I'm going to rotate it again. 30 to 45 degrees, whatever looks good to you. And I'm going to cut it like that again. And now I have pieces for two large cones. I'm going to take some tape. I like this uh, red tape, it works really nicely. And I'm going to put it here on a couple spots just to hold it in place for me. All right, and then the other thing I found when rolling a cone, because it's kind of tricky that it goes around, if you run it along the edge of your edge of your table, gives it a nice like natural curve to help you as you fold it around. So you can see it's already winding up for me. And you just wrap it around itself until you get to a spot where, until you get the shape of cone that you like. If you go in a lot, you're going to get a tight cone. If you go a lot, if you go out, you're going to get a wider cone. All depends on the look that you want. And there you have it. Well, if it'll stick.
There is a cone for you. You just need to decorate it with a little fringe on top for a party hat, put another circle at the base and it can be a witch hat, whatever you desire. You can embellish it however you like. This is just one of the many projects you can make using Template Studio. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos. Thank you.